Hey, this is Samantha again. I am here for my second vlog. So that's two in a row, which is pretty damn consistent for me. Um, I'm having a problem because my arms aren't really long, so I can't hold the video camera really far away like other people do. But I guess this is what you get. So um, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday, but um, that's not surprising for anybody who suffers from um, depression and stuff. That's just kind of what happens a lot of the time. Um, anyway, today I wanted, that's my cat meowing pathetically. Today I wanted to talk about migraines because I had a really bad migraine earlier today. And, um, so any kind of pain makes depression worse. Depression can have its own physical, um, can have its own physical symptoms of pain, but it also makes it more likely that you'll have back pain or or migraines or headaches. Any little ache or pain it is amplified and it's like, to try and explain it, it's like where people would say, oh, you know, that's that's just like your your back is hurt. It just hurts a little bit. Like the depression makes it feel like it hurts a little bit except you add on sandpaper, which I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. But the way I explain the difference between um, the difference between migraines and and headaches is a migraine is not just a bad headache. A migraine is like somebody taking a piece of sandpaper and just rubbing it as hard as hell back and forth over your arm, uh, back and forth as hard as possible over your arm, that's a migraine. A headache is like something completely different. A headache is like a completely different sensation. To, it doesn't even fall in the same category um, because a migraine is so much worse. I know growing up, my dad always used to tell me that a migraine was um, what people did to get out of things. Like, it wasn't a real thing. Um, my stepmother had migraines. And my dad said that my stepmother always conveniently had a migraine when she didn't want to go out to eat with them. But a migraine, you can see it if you look on um, an EEG, I think. And it's it's like the the blood vessels in your head are getting as dilated as they can to so that the blood can go through your head as much as possible and it's so fucking painful that there's just like it's not it's like if you try and get the 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 it's just it's it's the pain can be um incomprehensible and so um, my husband does not get migraines, but he does not just dismiss it as a bad headache. He says, I don't understand it, but I respect how much it must hurt by watching you go through them. And I think that that's maybe a really good way for people who don't get migraines to really show their sympathy, to say, I don't understand it, I've never gotten it, but I look at you and I see that it must be horrific. I know that it's not just, oh, your head hurts, you don't want to go to the store. Um, my migraines are, are triggered by light, and earlier today I had a horrible migraine. Um, my migraines are triggered by light and, um, and also noise. So a lot of times, um, even though we don't have, um, we don't have, uh, oh, I got dark. Wow. Okay. Even though we don't, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Even though we don't have, um, even though we don't have air conditioning, um, heat, heat will always make my migraine worse. So I try to avoid heat, but light is even worse. So I use block out curtains and um, that means that sometimes it gets warmer than it would. Um, 
but I, I have to have the light block out curtains on and sunglasses or even um, sometimes block out curtains um, and um, really crazy um, She's not going to look at us. She was playing. Okay. Okay. Back to um, focusing on this. Um, I'm going to get better at focus, I promise. Um, I would do anything at all to avoid light. The worst day was when I had to climb into the closet and still put something over my head put an ice pack on my head and then put something over my head. And then they say, um, you know, stress makes migraines worse, which people can say, oh, it's not that bad. It's just because it's just worse because of stress. Well, stress also sends people to the cardiac unit with a heart attack. Stress makes everything worse. And so when they try and tell you that your migraines or worse just because of stress that doesn't mean that they're not real and stress is just um, an additional problem with it it's not that it's completely stress it's a medical problem that's made worse by stress and so I guess that's the medical side of it as far as someone who goes through migraines. Um, I went I went through migraines every day for a month when they first started, and I lived in a black room, and I didn't leave my black room. And um, sometimes I would turn the TV on, even though noise kind of bothered me, because I couldn't handle the silence, because the silence made time take forever to pass. And I had all different kinds of medications that they can try. Um, but but none of them worked great for me, and so um, that didn't that didn't help a whole lot. And um, there's my other kitty cat. That's Nissa. She's walking across the. Um, the top of the doorway and that's Tia she's down there on the cat tree okay I'm just saying things because I um I don't know I'm feeling very inadequate at this blogging thing right now but I promise if you stick with me I'll get I'll get better at it anyway they tried a zillion different things for my headaches for my migraines and nothing worked, and it got to the point where they um, put me on Oxycontin and Oxycodone, which led to some of the darkest days in my life. And um, I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow because that's a really long video, and um, I guess we'll see how this goes. Thanks, and I hope this wasn't too bad. It's still the pandemic, so stay safe. Stay six feet away from people, which is easy if you're a recluse. But also, um, you know, wash your hands and all that jazz.